Well, today our special guest, someone from uh, the community, is here with us for our share in the chair. We heard last week from SunServe, Sunshine Social Services, but just one uh, area, the transgender services. This week, we have the grand poobah of SunServe. Uh, he is the executive director of the entire organization. He's going to tell us about their many programs, the, their two locations. Uh, they've got a lot going on. You don't even know what all they're doing, but you will know in just a few minutes. So would you please Welcome, Mark Ketchum. <laughs> well, there's your intro. Tell us some stuff. <laughs> Good morning, Your Grace. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Um, First of all, I want to thank the Sunshine Cathedral for all they do to support SunServe. As you know, we were born here in 2002, and we continue to cohabitate uh, with you. I look at, we don't have any real legal connection, but we are like kissing cousins. That's what I tell people in the community. I love working with Robert and Darrell. They're great guys, but Kurt is the real one that we drive crazy. So I want to honor him right up there. <laughs> <laughs> Keep Kurt happy and life is good. You know how that works? So the programs that SunServe has developed over the years, we started with mental health. Uh, the idea was back in the beginning, uh, Dr. Jim Lepresti started uh, SunServe and that poor gays and lesbians had no place to get mental health. So that we started our agency, so if you were poorer, uh, you could come to SunServe and get free mental health. We've grown that program. We now have 18 volunteer therapists, four therapists on staff. It is free to everyone. Any service that we have is free. Um, we don't turn anyone away. However, if you drive up in a new car and have a pack of cigarettes in your pocket, it annoys me when you can't pay $6 for a session. Mm -hmm. But, you know, <laughs> <clears throat> I smile. So any mental health needs, please give us a call. We can refer to the community or we'll see you in-house. Um, second big program is our senior center, which you all know about over here in the social hall. That started in 2004, and that's for folks who are 60 and ready for the medically necessary um, description, wobbly. <laughs> we all know what wobbly is, so if you're 60 and over and wobbly, you can fit into the senior center. Open from 8.30 to 5 every day, free services, there's lunch included, entertainment, and it's a great place for respite for those who are taking care of somebody. I see several of my, our volunteers right over there. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Then we go over to our office in Wilton Manors, and we have several programs there. One is HOPLA, and that's case management, housing opportunities for people with AIDS. And it's, we have about 450 clients, and the idea behind HOPWA is that if you're HIV positive, and I gotta say, HOPWA tends to help those who are a little bit poorer. If you're HIV positive, there are two goals. One, we wanna keep somebody as healthy as possible for as long as possible so they live a great life. And second, we, the more, if they stick to their medication regimen, they're less infectious so we don't spread the disease. The idea behind HOPWA is how the heck can you expect people to stay on their HIV medication regimens if they don't have a safe and secure house to live in? That's the whole premise behind HOPWA. So we have 450 clients in that. If you know anyone who's HIV and housing issues, have them give us a call. We have Project AIDS Care, which is for folks who are a little bit further along um, the line of their AIDS diagnosis. The idea is to keep them out of a nursing home or a hospital so that they stay at home, which is much nicer and safer for them. We have about 160 clients in there. We have the transgender program that you heard last week, and Atticus is great, so I don't have to add anything <laughs> about him. Um, and then we have senior services, which is different than this one. This is where we aim to keep people in their homes, or for those stubborn older folks, nobody in here matches that uh, description, 
who won't sign up for services, who don't know what's available through the government, Lisa will help folks sign up for in-home health care, in-home cleaning. Won't happen right away. Governor Scott is still our governor. But at least we can get you on the list so sooner or later um, we can get you some services. I think I covered it all. You, what about youth and what about women? Youth. Youth. Thank you. Only our biggest department. <laughs> um, our youth program I'm very proud of. Five years ago, didn't exist. They meet here, right? Yes. They meet where we were born, upstairs. And that's our youth drop-in center, which is open from 3 o'clock on. And we have 10 staff out of there. They work in the schools, uh, which I think is so cool, because I look around here, and you're all my age or younger. I'll be safe. And, Think of being in school and having the guidance counselor have a poster on the wall that says, you know, if you're gay, call Sunsurf. That's not going to happen. 20, I was looking for ago. another student. I'm <laughs> never mind faculty, please. Exactly. So I'm very proud of our youth department. Uh, we have several groups here during the week. If you're here on a Tuesday night, the place is swarming with kids. Um, we have between 30 and 40 kids come on Tuesday nights. Youth department, I have an announcement for the women in the audience. There are many programs aimed at the lesbian community, <clears throat> but we can't seem to find a good way to communicate with them, with this community. So on Tuesday, this Tuesday, June 14th, also Flag Day, so feel free to wear red, white, and blue, um, at, uh, what's her name? 13. At 13, Carol Moran's restaurant on Wilton Drive from four to seven, we're having a mixer for women. No sponsor. <clears throat> Nobody's going to yell at you about this or that, or we want money. It's going to come and have women come together so that we get to a critical mass and see if we can start doing this every month so that we can start sharing some information with this community. What That's have I missed? All? That's it? <laughs> well, you didn't give me much time. Youth, elderly, women, transgender, uh, AIDS, uh, mental health, you're, you're very busy. Uh, so much of that has happened since Mark uh, became the executive director just a few years ago, and he's got lots of plans uh, going forward. So we're very, very proud of the work that SunServe does. We're proud to be a partner with them in the community. Would you please thank Mark for sharing all of this good news with us again today?